Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here and today I want to tell you all why I think Scopely fed us a big fat lie when it came to the Evil Strange campaign event as it pertains to hard mode for newer and some mid-game players. Now for those of you who have completed heroic mode entirely, that's awesome, including myself, uh, but that should lead you, and that they'll definitely lead you to indefinitely more shards uh, than previously and check out my video from yesterday for the math on that and the spreadsheet. Uh, but we're thinking go really wonky is for those of you who aren't really doing much of heroic and are still needing to do and farm the existing hard mode which is far from what they promised us in the blogs prior that stated that things would not change with regards to the rewards in the shakeup of the campaigns now i know that this is a bold-faced lie on the part of scopely we are going to go over exactly what this is for those unfamiliar and why now players who can't do heroic are going to be getting almost half as many shards as previously because of what's available to you in the campaigns so i think this is kind of ridiculous and we're going to dive deeper into exactly what the problem is here so without further ado let's get this show on the road Okay, and so I want to start off here. Now, this is the blog post. This was the uh, pre 2022 preview blog from February the 25th. Now, this talks specifically, I'm going to zoom in a little bit if I can. Uh, this talks specifically about the uh, campaign event changes that are coming to, well, this campaign event uh but this was telling us what's going to happen so uh they basically tell how they're reworking all of that but what's really important though is down here starting probably about midway through so a new more challenging difficulty curve with new rewards will now be at the top of the above the current heart if your team isn't quite ready to tackle this new challenge there's no need to worry as the rewards for hard aren't changing as part of this rework so this is where it's fucked up because it has changed and we're going to go over exactly what and why if you complete these new missions you'll still earn the first time rewards okay so this does happen so those old 27 shards uh that you used to get on the previous hard mode that's still there um but the fragments are severely changed to a large degree that those farming you know let's say 200 coring or whatever daily that you you know a lot of people normally do um you're gonna be net you know a lot less orb fragments per event than what has ever happened in the past and we're going to compare that um so there's no need to play both but we'll have more details blah 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 right okay so moving on we have this, this is the um uh this was the madeline prior blog from march 25th this is two a week and a half ago i think uh, and so they talk about the forbidden knowledge event here a little bit more basically they just need five characters with the unyielding trait for heroic difficulty of course um and they have the gear tier all the recommendations here uh what is interesting and i want to pull up really quickly here uh for those of you who are still working on heroic or haven't quite cleared it uh this is a good example of a team that does work um and so this was courtesy of a discord e of mine and they posted this I, I shared this as well a little bit so um this i think they said that they were pretty comfortably able to clear heroic mode all the way up to the final level by the way uh using a 400 ish k power team now most of these are kind of meta ish characters now uh scarlet witch is a bit, a bit on the low side but still you know this is a good example of sort of what team power you can use you might be able to min max this a little bit better uh but this is kind of the average range i would say in the 400 k power range to clear heroic to the end just for those who maybe are not sure how high your characters need to be uh, i just wanted to bring this up really quickly before we carried on so we have all this information here on that and so given what i just showed with the screenshot i mean you don't need level 85 for this you could probably up, up punch this a little bit as well uh gear tier 14 is probably a good place to be but otherwise yeah anyways um so they talk about here the heroic difficulty will reward teal gear and so it was first time rewards for that and you do get both the, the hard and heroic difficulty first time rewards. so that's not the problem but the problem is the fragments and so i want to go back in game and i want to show exactly what this is before i kind of show you the math on that so you go into the forbidden knowledge and things were really fucked up last night for the first two three hours or whatever it is because hard mode was actually uh being able to be completed at lower energy at 8 8 and 16 rather than now they changed it back to 10 10 and 20 i wasn't sure if they were going to keep that so i actually ended up farming some of the hard mode because you actually got more fragments per energy for that and so what's really important here though is if you're talking about uh hard mode the amount of fragments that are available is not good so this will deplete before the event is even finished now previously on hard mode in the past this was never the case you know if you guys remember you know just like in the dr voodoo event on the highest difficulty 
the the fragments never depleted on any of the stages you know there was no reason to really uh, refresh the nodes and they never depleted over the 15 days of the event but these do and, and some of them pretty quickly like in the case of these ones uh, they can deplete i have all the math on a spreadsheet but yeah like anywhere from like five to six days in some cases for some of these nodes which is frankly ridiculous and then you'd have to go down to easy mode for those of you who can't do heroic mode and easy depletes even quicker you know, and this one uh, will deplete, some of them deplete in less than 10 days. And so the total amount of fragments that are available over hard and easy is less than the old hard mode that you would get uh, in terms of the math, in terms of the total amount of orbs. So I also wanted to point out really quickly that if you are farming all of heroic, if you did manage to do that, then you will actually deplete of the first two nodes these i believe after 11 days i have the math on the spreadsheet as well for that so that's what i want to check out but very first i want to pivot back to my doctor voodoo campaign event tables now this is a little bit old but it kind of shows you what the old hard mode was and what you could do in terms of the math um, if you were coring 200 daily how many orbs you would get over the course of the event and i want to compare that to what that looks like now for hard mode and easy mode because of the way that the fragments are now so uh all, all this stuff is stuff you know 27 free shards if you did the hard mode which we do get now as well as part of heroic for first time clear and so but like i said before 700 total uh 700 600 and 500 fragments per 100 energy uh, but now that's going to deplete on the existing hard mode that's still there and it's the same energy cost um however the amount of fragments totally available is less so for that 928 energy which is what you're going to get over the 200 cores daily you can see here you can see the math i mean this is if you've seen my dr voodoo video it's very similar uh, but you basically get almost 2.8 orbs daily and over the course of the event for 15 days you're going to be budgeted to get uh, almost 42 orbs now let's keep that number in mind when we check out the math that's going to be coming up so that nets you roughly around uh, 258 shards this is halfway to five star you know and so that's really important right and so let's pivot back and we're going to jump to my other spreadsheet which talks about this one. i was building this and thinking that they were keeping the energy levels by the way uh, for hard mode which they ended up so ignore some of this uh, but what's really important up here is uh, we talked about how the heroic one and two that's going to be depleted after 11 and a half days so after you do this you're going to actually have to pivot if, if you're doing 50 times four or 200 cores daily right now then you're going to need to pivot and after this depletes heroic one and two you're going to want to change to hard mode um nine eight and seven those kind of things to get that but this is where things get interesting because hard mode current hard mode depletes after 3.5 days on hard mode one and two nine days for hard mode three 5.3 days for four five and then 13 days or so for six and then five and a bit days just under six days for seven and eight so all of these that are in red are all of the nodes that are going to be depleted after you know all, basically all this is going to be depleted after less than halfway through the event and that's completely ridiculous because the total amount of fragments that are available means that they're finite right so if you're not farming any of the heroic nodes at all if you're unable to you might be able to do like let's say one because i think you just need a level requirement 68 i believe to just get into one so if you can do heroic one i would recommend everyone to try and do this to kind of uh increase the amount of orb fragments that are available to you depending on what your roster looks like your commander level and so on but for those who can't go further in in the heroic uh, campaign, it, it's going to be really challenging. And this is a nerf for what they said before. Let's pivot back, you know, really quickly to the blog post where, you know, they, they said here, they said, don't worry, no need to worry as the rewards for hard aren't changing as part of this rework. So this is a lie. Unless what they mean is that the first time rewards are not changing that's significantly different so if they're talking about first time rewards versus the long-term event rewards that is significantly different in terms of the total amount of orbs that are available and they really need to own up to this and apologize for that because they really fucked up and they're fucking over um newer players and some mid-game players who can't really carry on too much into heroic difficulty and so this is a net nerf for these players so going back to the table, uh, total fragments that are available in hard mode is 40,900. Now this is equates to about 20.5 orbs. Uh, that's basically if you were to farm all of this, um, uh, you know, add all the fragments up essentially uh, that you would get on a daily farm. Um, but of course, after these deplete, then you would have to move over onto easy mode if you're unable to do heroic. And so the total um, uh, fragments available in easy mode, if you were to deplete easy mode as well, is actually only seven orbs. So that's 14,000 fragments there add it together and that's about 27 and a half orbs 
Now let's pivot back really quick to that Dr. Voodoo uh, guide here. And so that's 42 orbs that you would get on the old hard mode farming this. Now this was the top campaign chapter, but they said in the blog post that things were not going to change. But clearly they did, because there's a big difference between 27 and a half orbs that are available in hard and easy mode and 42 that were available in the old hard mode. Now, I don't know what they changed because I don't know what the fragments look like in old, medium, and old, easy. If this is the same here, maybe they just like relabeled uh, medium to hard and they kept the same amount of fragments. That's possible because I never did actually calculate the old medium uh, difficulty in terms of how many fragments were available uh, there. So if this is the case, then they may have just relabeled, repurposed without really thinking about this too hard and what they said in previous blog posts. Because I think for newer players, uh, this is a giant kick in the teeth. Ignore all this stuff down below. Uh, this was my attempt of uh, changing things based on the energy cost, like I mentioned when they did it in the first couple of hours. And then they changed it back, so that became pretty pointless. So things are in a bit of a dire situation for those of you who can't do heroic mode and you've been lied to by Scopely for the benefit of, well, nobody. Uh, and so obviously this is going to be pushing people to try and get into heroic difficulty, uh, but this is going to take longer and harder to do now. So the bar has been raised for everyone. Now, I, I, I enjoy the fact that they're harder uh, levels to clear and you get a little bit of extra rewards in terms of the teal gear but what I don't like is penalizing you know early and mid game players for those who can't do this because they said themselves that this wasn't going to happen so that really pisses me off and really bothers me and I feel bad for anyone who isn't unable isn't able to do this and you're probably likely to get um, if you were to completely farm out hard and easy mode I mean uh, it was 5.4 shards per orb so we can just take the 27 and a half uh, times it by 5.4 over here and uh, add 27 as well after on top and that'll give you about um, less than five less than four star so uh, 148.5 plus 27 because that's what you get for free in hard mode. So that's 175.5. So that's close to uh, a four star, but not quite there, right? You know, and, and that's average luck. If you guys know about, you know, the, the 5.4 is average luck. So this could be higher. This could be lower. So you might still get a four star if you can't farm heroic, but it's nowhere near as simple as it was before. Because if you go back to the Dr. Voodoo, the chart that you, you know, you're going to average about 258 shards if you were doing the 200 cores daily. So this is a significant decrease by a lot of shards. So players are getting screwed. If you can't do heroic mode and you can't farm all of heroic mode, um, you're definitely getting screwed. For those of you who can do heroic mode, then you're in a very good position because you're actually getting way more shards than this 258 because that's actually the old uh number for dr voodoo the new numbers for uh evil strangers campaign event well that is actually on my uh video from yesterday so you can go check that out if you're interested but yeah i'm really not happy with this change for everyone else and you shouldn't be happy to and don't take this line down I, I would definitely get angry about this especially if you're an early and mid game player because it just does not look good and it looks seedy on the part of scopely to say one thing and then not follow through with it and then just give you something completely different so uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments below especially if this directly impacts you and if you're one of those early and mid game players who went into this thinking that nothing was going to change well it looks like it did and so that's unfortunate and uh, you know I, I really hope that they think about this a little bit more and maybe adjust this for next time like you know not having the hard mode uh fragments deplete that would be a good start i think if they change that and, and it didn't deplete then we'd be back on track but otherwise it's a definite nerf so let me know in the comments down below and of course until next time stay safe and healthy and i'll see you all later boiling signing out